Greetings, my fellow kindred. My voice broke there for a second. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to V Rising. And today, we are here outside the starting point, starting area we've been at. And uh, currently, the sun is shining, but as soon it will be dark. And uh, yeah, the reason I think why we're not taking any sunlight damage is because like this area is filled with like a mist or something. Um, not 100% sure. We're gonna, oh, we got some bones. Let's go ahead and just chop these. While we're waiting for the daytime to get past, i uh, just quickly gonna collect in some things. So let me just quickly talk about what's going on where. So this is our blood pool. We have to go feed to go and, uh, you know, fill it up. But we also have on the side, we have a blood type. We are currently now frail. As we can see at the top bar, it says frail. Uh, depending on the quality of whatever we are consuming the blood from, um, we will align ourselves towards that sort of creature or human or whatever. And that will give us some bonus perks and things. And F is for feeding and all that kind of stuff. So that is pretty good. Um, and yeah, so also, uh, if I think if we press J... Well, Jay, this is our abilities and things. Hey, the moon is rising, so we can now freely roam around. Um, we have a couple of things which we can get ourselves. We have more things, which is pretty cool. Um, just want to see what, like, what is... Okay, so if we hold on control, we can expose the vein. So if we are playing multiplayer and we, one of our buddies were damaged or something and they need healing we can expose a vein we can also use blood mint which uses some of our blood in our blood pool to heal ourselves over time um just trying to see okay crafting there we go this is what i was looking for so we need to go look for some animal hide and um we do have a bone ring so as we can see it says uh, three gear le le um, level uh one and one because this mask is not really doing anything for us. Interesting. Um, we have an overall stat. Gear level 8. So I think it's that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 1, 8 uh, somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have to go look for some animals. Somewheres. Uh, I think I saw... We got ourselves a skeleton. There we go. Lovely. You missed. There we go. Lovely. Go ahead and mess up everything. No, I'm just joking. We're not really going to mess up a symmetry that much. But hey. Hey, rat. Pick up. Come here, you rat. Yeah, now we have to go and see if we cannot find anything we can uh, fight. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any animals or anything in the vicinity. It's interesting. Uh, oh, yes, we have a map. As we can see, this map is huge. It's a huge map. Very, very, very big. So what I want to do... Ow. There we go. Speed. There we go. We just cons <laughs> fed on this wolf. Um, and uh, some some animals were harmed during the making of this uh, tutorial. Not <laughs> tutorial, gameplay. Um, so as we can see, our blood pool has been filled up. And our creature alignment, uh, we are aligned... Our blood type is now aligned like to creature that gives us a level one movement speed three to fifteen percent uh the more the better the percentage the higher we will go up in tiers which is pretty cool this is a teleporter but we cannot use it at the stage because we are carrying resources and i think that is like valheim does that i think i do not know
There we go. And there we go. Lovely. So, um, yeah, we just got ourselves some blood essence as well. I don't know how where we can see how much essence is stored anywhere. Not 100% sure where that is, but uh, we got some animal hides as we, could, we just got, got from the wolves and whatnot. So we have to craft up um, some gloves and boots. Let's go ahead and gloves and boots. I think, yeah, we can queue it up and it will be smart enough to like uh, equip it automatically for us. Let's go ahead and explore a little. Okay, we can do this just a little bit better. All right, but where are we going? So I want to go to... Oh, poop. Ow. I'll just murderize you because that was just not nice. And there we go. Let's go ahead and claim bone axes and things noise we are moving up in this world um let me just quick maybe over here looks good i don't know so we can continue on north um that scared me how was that so let's continue on north and see where we can go and set up a base i would like to set up here if there's not a human camp or anything there just yet uh, just to get a little, little bit of a base and things going on. And um, also, I kind of want to settle maybe over here. I don't know, maybe like somewhere where there's like water or something. I would like to have a little bit of a pool, you know, to dip my toes in. My undead toes and feel... Oh, wow, what's going on there? That's a... I want that tier 10 or level 10 over there. How's your health looking? I don't care about that. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's move on. Ooh, what is this? Blood Rose. Let's go ahead and collect those. Ooh, that's a skull level stone giant thing. Scared me there, buddy. Uh, let's see if we cannot get out of here. Maybe go to some other place. Bandit camp over there. Do we want to go take them on? It's not a bandit camp. Um, let's keep moving forward. see uh where we can end up because i want to start base building man come on please please gotta say it's quite nice a nice night out that's a mugger do not want to disturb them now we're moving back and we want to go this way sort of Maybe around here. I don't know. I don't know. We will see. Let's, uh, let's just keep on moving. Maybe we can end up. Hey, there we go. Took care of that guy super quick. Did not know what hit him. Maybe up here. Looks like a nice area to build our base. Because we have abandoned camp there, there, and there. Let's see what's up here. Looks like old ruins and things. Let's go ahead and take care of this. Make some space. There we go. I want to check out this area. See how good it looks. We have another entrance over here. 
Uh, I don't see any creatures or anything that might want to harm us or anything. That's, that's pretty, I mean, it's pretty good. I like it. Very nice place. I like it. We got a deer, level one creature. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And yeah, okay. I like this place. I like the spot. Quite a big area to build in. I mean, we could settle for this area, maybe. We can quickly check it out if we just go down this way, up there, and then... It's quite close to a bandit camp. We might get attacked constantly. But we can check it out before we move on to the next phase, which is building. Um, how the heck do I get out? Wish there was like a little bit of a run button, you know? Because shift is not doing anything. So, let's just check out. Let's go. There's, there's a T-section T coming up in the road. And um, then just a little bit north from that. Oh, we got some armored skeletons. It is not good. It's not good, hey? Oh, and there's bugs over there and this place will see a lot of combat I'm gonna check out this spot over here as well got a big moose got some I think this is copper over here yeah you you run you run there buddy yeah it's almost gonna become daytime um, but I think I liked our previous spot it this Feels okay-ish. But I would rather go back to our previous spot. We were... It was nice and... Um, comfy there. Want to hide from these guys. We are quite weak at this stage. We cannot really take on anything. I want to go ahead and... Uh, get our base up and running. Craft a couple of things, you know. Which should be fine and dandy. This is quite a way up. And we got some trees and things for cover, which we can uh, wait on. So they want us to go ahead and craft up two bone axes, which we have over here. Go ahead and craft that up. I'm just going to move these things out of the way. I'll just put this on nine. Let them craft up. And what's nice is the bone axes is dual wield, which is really freaking awesome. It looks awesome. Gotta admit. Alright, let's go ahead and claim. And a bone mace. Go ahead and craft up a bone mace at the same time. While we're waiting for that to craft. What's nice about this mace, or these uh, bone axes, they are good for taking on number. Just like this. And what I will do in between our poop is going to become morning. Okay, we have to stay in the shadows for as long as possible. Waiting, wait, wait for the daytime to pass. Um, but what we can do is stand in the shadows and still harvest a couple of things. the the uh, what you call it the bone mace is very good physical damage to minerals which is stones and whatnot I'm just looking at the thing over here um, bone axe is good for the wood and the bone sword is good for vegetation okay castle heart and borders which is what we're gonna do next and I was thinking of clearing this area and start building Man, I cannot wait for this. And you know what's nice about this spot is we have actually a lot of cover, shade, you know? So, and it is, if you look, there's a bandit camp there, this one there, this one here. Um, and as we can see, there are coarse threads and paper. Paper is going to be, ow! The sun, she burns! Let's get into here. Ooh. Nice. I wonder if this... No, this is not roofed, obviously. There's no roof here. But, um... 
Yeah, the sun will damage us and everything. Paper, what you need, why you need paper is because you do research. You research a couple of things. And uh, the more you research, the better things you can unlock to help you with, um, like, more buildings and technologies, those sorts of things. And, uh, yeah. All right, people, that's it for me. Thanks so much for joining me here on The Rising. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And I see you guys next time. Bye-bye.